Can I name three dominant voicings that I like to play? That's a cool question. Sure. I think my go-to dominant grips are, I'll give you kind of a, 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 kind of a simple one and then a, a more complex one. And then uh, like, I really like this. This, this is, I think of this as E13. So if you don't, even if you don't play the low E, you've got E here. Here's the third, G sharp. I've got the six or the 13 here on the third string and the seven here. So everything is on strings four, uh, five, five, four, three, two. And the frets are five, six, six, five. So and then if I was gonna go to the four chord from there, I'd probably go to this chord, which is an A9, but there's no A here. I'm just playing the third the seventh, the ninth, and the fifth. So, like, that's the one chord in it. It blues in E. It's E7 with a 6 or a 13 on it. And then A7 with a 9 in it and no root. So I use these voicings all the time. So the root, you could visualize as being here. Or you could visualize it as being here. And, and sometimes I'll actually flatten out my pinky and put it on there. So, so this is without that uh, root on top. Here it is with the root on top. So I use the, those are two that I use constantly. Um, Another one that I like is this one. This is a A9 with A on top. So I'm playing G, B, C sharp, A. You could also put the A down low. Either way, depending on the context. And all of these, you can do different things with them. Like, okay, so this E13, sometimes I'll flat the 13 so that's C sharp going down to C so can you hear that so that's really from this voicing the only alteration that I would use there's no nine in it so we can't mess with the nine but um, you could put a nine on top, and then you've got seven, three, thirteen, nine. Now we could mess around and do like thirteen flat nine or thirteen sharp nine or flat thirteen sharp nine or flat thirteen flat nine. So it's really a lot of flexibility with the, the basic premise with this with this one is seven three and then six or thirteen and then either the root on top or nine on top and then nine we can play with and the thirteen we can play with from this shape this a nine we could get a flat nine sharp nine uh, sharp nine sharp five remember this is an a chord so that's three seven sharp nine sharp five you could have sharp nine flat five which is the same shape that we had on e13 now i'm playing it it looks like oh well that must be e flat 13 but i'm thinking of it as an a chord so these are just rootless you know, no, no root at the bottom, dominant chords with the third and seven on these two strings and some color up here. And then this last one, 
this was oh, let's make it B9. So we have B9 flat nine sharp nine. Yeah, I use these all the time. Uh, those are the three dominant chords that I, you know, I mean, other than just like, you know, shell voices, which that's a whole other thing. But as far as like colorful voicing, those are the grips I, I use all the time. Was that helpful, Johan? Is that, is that what you're getting at? Hope so. Um.